Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Guys, it's Vanny. We're back with another Pokemon Diamond, Brilliant Diamond video. If you join the play, comment, subscribe, and subscribe, shall we? In the last one, we kind of just ran around on the bike road or bike path, whatever it's called, and made our way back to Orberg City. Um, what's the button to do it again? Is it Y? Is it plus? Uh, what button was it to get the bike out again? I forgot. Um, but yeah, anyways, we made our way back to Orberg City, and um, how do I? Yeah, I want to register it actually, because if I register it, it'll be easier. So. Yeah, we'll do that, so, okay. Now press the plus button, so I should be able to activate with the plus, right? Okay, there we go. So, now that I can, ah, ah, ah. Okay, anyways, we got our bike, we made our way through the bike road, we beat all these trainers over here, and now we're heading towards a cave to Heartthrome City. So, yeah, um, actually, I don't remember what our con my conversation was last time that I had going. I don't know if I can finish it or not, but like, I do have a topic this time, and that topic's kind of an interesting one for me, because, okay, god damn it, this has come now, I see. Uh, I guess I'm doing this. According to one theory, Mount Cornet is where the Shinnor region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should be have no been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is be being ruined by it. I find the state of things to be deplorable. Okay, dick. I like how we're just smiling to that. Again, I say, I wish we had character customization. I, I don't think we do outside of one specific thing. But anyways, I don't really remember what I had talked about before, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this now. Uh, I don't know if I should say this or not, but I feel like saying it. And that is, for those of you that don't know, I'm a part of, and this sounds like a plug, it's not. I mean, yes, go watch the videos I'm about to say, but like, it's not a plug. Um, where all you know, a lot of you that know probably that I play Thera, a game that me and my friends created, trying to get it started up. There are a bunch of Thera, or there are a few Thera videos on the channel. And there's also a Thera channel, so go check that channel out. The End Slate video will probably have a link to it if I remember to put it as per usual. So yeah, or just the End Slate of most of my videos, or most of my late, most of my newer videos have that link to it. But pretty much, it's currently 12:52 right now, and I got up at eight. 30, at 8 o'clock in the morning so that we could do a tournament for Thera and just it was like a small tournament between our people I don't know if I should be saying this or not, but I don't care and Honestly the tournament was fun first up. I won like that was fun. I, I ended up winning um, I believe my opening we only had two rounds for or I only had two rounds because there weren't enough players to make more than two rounds but I won my first round 2-0. I got the free pass because there was no opponent to fight in the second round. And then the final round, I won 2-1. So it was really um, interesting. I took a joke a little seriously. And um, I think now I embody a very specific character that I'm not going to say exists in the anime. But I'm also going to say it does exist. And I did it as a bit. And now it's actually like a thing in my head. I don't know. I feel really hyped from it. Um... There's all I'm really fun. I like fighting against uh, some of the people there. We all kind of gave it our best. Um, the finals was actually really close. Like, I honestly thought it was going to be like a one-sided final, but, um, or maybe not a one-sided final, but I really thought the finals was going to go a little differently than I thought it was. I didn't plan on winning. I thought I was going to, like, get knocked out in the first round, especially after seeing my first round opponent, but... Hey, I managed to beat past them, bit of luck, I will say, and then uh, beat past the final in a very close match. So I think the we were both at our final damage, and the first game I won via something they didn't know I had, and then the second game I lost because small luck at the end with a, yeah, just a small luck at the end with four deck cards and one of them being a damage trigger dealing me a damage and I'm at nine damage, and then the last game being I had them like in a checkmate position where they couldn't really win. It was more rigged in my... Well, it, again, it was close, where if they um, damage checked a heal trigger, they would have won, but uh, yeah, they didn't. You can't win twice off of pure luck. Either way, those, those are fun games. Both get both the last two games come came down to like really luck-based moments, where depending on what the top card was, I would either win or lose. I lost the first time, I won the second time, and then the first game, like I said, I won in a situation where you don't know what's in my deck. And that was the funny part, because I felt like that was a real anime move, because me and the guy that I that played in the finals, we ended up uh, practicing against each other a lot, and he knew my, I'm pretty sure he knew my deck pretty well at that point, and I kind of gave a hint that I was gonna swap cards out right before the tournament to try to better my deck, 
Um, and I found it so funny how I couldn't use the card in my first round match because all of them went into my deck, or either all- one of them- the last copy who stayed at the bottom of my deck the whole time, and then the other two got damage checked. And then when I finally got to the finals, I felt so happy that I didn't damage check it immediately, and that I was able to keep it a secret till the moment I win with it. It felt like such an anime move, like, you never see it coming. And it was so funny, so... All around, pretty good. And I even had a speech for it too, which was pretty nice, so... Yeah, uh, all around, fun experience. That has nothing to do with Pokemon, that's just what I'm feeling right now, because that tournament lasted, like, four hours, I think? I don't know when it ended, it's 12.50, it's 12.55 now, and... It, wait, wait, Pokeball. And it ended in, and it started at 8.10 exactly, or like, we were all ready to play by 8 o'clock, but we waited 10 minutes just to make sure, and then we started the tournament about 8.10ish, so, like, and I know it obviously didn't take until I started recording this, because I didn't record this right after, so, let's just say the tournament took about 4-ish hours, 3, 3 hours and 50-something minutes, that's how long the tournament probably took. Actually, no, it didn't. Because now that I think about it, we did spend a little bit more time just hanging out after the tournament. Say, never mind. Let's say it probably took two hours and fifty something minutes, or like three hours and twenty something minutes, and that's probably how long it lasts. It's all around um, really fun experience. Uh, my first time in a semi-competitive scene where I showed my full try hardness. Um, so then there's that. And is there anything else to recap? I guess like I'm kind of recording this video a bit later than what I wanted to because. I had re I meant to record this the day beforehand, right now it's Saturday, August 20th. I meant to record this Friday, August the 19th, but me and my friend that played in the finals ended up wanting to practice a little more because we wanted to make sure we were good for Zet Tournament. So we kind of played it all out, um, and I didn't get time to record this, which sucked, but uh, yeah, whatever. I, I, got, I found the time to record this anyway, so I don't really mind. Um, Oh fuck. I was about to try to see what Pokemon I can find here, because now that I think about it, I'm thinking on my team. I one, doesn't Budu evolve into Rosalia by friendship, so I should probably be throwing it out more. But then also, like, I don't what's the other team member I have that I don't want really? Oh yeah, Shellos. I wanna go back and get a Weasel, and I could. I could. There's nothing stopping me, but like, there's a little bit of work involved in that, and I don't like Floatzel. You see, Boizel is one of those Pokemon where I like its first form, but I hate its, like, final form, and I will never use it because I hate stopping my Pokemon from evolving. It feels so weird to not have an evolved Pokemon when it's past the level it's supposed to evolve at, and I don't know. It just feels so weird and unnatural to me, and I don't want to do that, so, you know, I guess I'm not going to be able to get, like, a, or, like, I don't know, because Floatzel kind of grew on me, but at the same time it didn't. And yeah, I don't know why I don't like Floatzel. Floatzel just seems weird. I like this fan-made version of Floatzel I saw. It's called Burtzel from Pokemon Sweet. Burtzel seems pretty cool. Uh, I like how that one looks. I don't like how Floatzel looks. I don't know why. It just looks really weird to me. Oh, okay, you copied my power punch. Here's a mock punch to the face. So yeah, not that hard, thankfully. Still wondering what I want to get on my final team though, because again, I really haven't thought it all through. Like, I might not keep Adrian. Like, if I get someone I want, I'm gonna ditch it for Shellos. So that's confirmed. But I don't know. Do I want Adrian on my team still? Do I not want Adrian on my team? It's all around a weird thing. Oh wait, this. What did what, what had to do with the berries? Oh, the fire sticker. Fire sticker, that's what it was. I was remembering that there was something I had to do with berries, and that's why I wanted to get berries so much. It, it was for fire stickers, I remember that now. So let's get berries. Okay, I do like how they do berry here, berries here, because, like, basically you get two. So if you're willing to, like, give up one, you get double the amount back, basically, once you, uh, plant them. Wait, do I have a pale bucket, pale bucket so I can actually plant these? Or, like, you know, restore them, basically? I hope I do. If I don't, I... Fuck then fuck me. Um, my other question be, can I, okay, I can water that. Yeah, I would like to sprinkle water there, please. Okay. Oh, I could have done it on all of them. Okay. But boy, stop, stop. Okay. They're all happy. Yes. No, I would not like to sprinkle more water on it. Actually, that is a question that I have. If I were to sprinkle more water on them, would it kill them? I would assume that's how it is, because I don't think you can sprinkle too much water on your plant or it will die, right? That's how plants work. You can't just like, uh, like spray a bunch of water on them, otherwise they'll all die. 
I don't know how it works per se, but whatever. Either way, that should be an easy pail for me. Okay, let's see. Is there anything useful in here that I can take? I hope there is. This is just a family. Berry Master. Oh. Thank you. I didn't think I would get something out of that, but I assume I can come back here every day and get more berries from this guy. I don't know why. Oh, you give me berries. Oh. No, I didn't mean to do that. No, no, stop. I don't want to keep buying berries. Okay, well, that's good. Um, I'm going to have to come back here later and check if that person I... Um... Yeah, okay, so this tells us where the berries are ripe to be picked. Oh, okay, that's actually helpful then. Cool, so now I need to remember to go back to that town, get the things I want for stickers. And you know, that benefits me too, because in that town... Um... Oh. Oh. Wait. 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 Wait, just a second. Odd keystone. Okay, so it's different in this game. I forgot, we don't have Megas. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have won that battle against Cynthia in the first place. Um... Do, what does the keystone do in this game? Uh, voices can be heard from it occasionally. An item that does need to be held towards a tower from collapsing. Huh. I'm trying to find a Pokemon here. Oh, speak of the devil, water type. Oh, it's a Psyduck. Again, I say Pokemon I don't like the evolution of. Or better yet, it's more on the lines of I don't like either of them. I think Psyduck looks so weird to me, and then Golduck just looks like... You know what? I'll keep this, because I don't know what Golduck's sprite in this game looks like. So, like, if, if it looks cool to me in this sprite, then I'll keep it, but... In hindsight, I should probably look it up, but I don't care to. Hopefully Golduck looks cool. If it doesn't, then I just won't keep it, but... For now, you're on our team. Um, if you're a female, you're being called Goldie. If you are a male, you're being called um, Digger. I guess you're being called Digger. Oh, you are Oh, you are a female. I didn't think you would be um, Goldie. I saw like the male sign on its Pokedex entry, and I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm not being able to keep that, but cool. I guess we're calling you Goldie, and sorry, um, Shellos, but, uh, let's be fair, you weren't gonna stay on the team for long. I, we all knew this was gonna happen at some point. Okay, well, I could try to catch him a chomp here. I know I can, but, uh, not worth it. I don't feel like it, but, um, hey, you know what? Heartthrome City, we're right here, and, uh, there's another thing I want to do in Heartthrome City, which is why I'm not gonna go catch more Pokemon, because this is probably gonna take up the remainder of the episode, honestly. I'm sorry, what? There's a route here? Okay, now I want to do some more exploring after this. Oh, hey, it's a Buneary. We have a Buneary, actually. Oh, 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 this gives us the last team member. Oh, I remember what's here. There's something here I want to... If, if this game's anything like the original, there's something here I want. Oh, thank goodness that, that you happen to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far my Buneary would have ran away. Baby Buneary, back into your Pokeball you go. I'm Kira, a contest hall contestant. Please drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. Okay, and sidetrack begins. Damn it! Ah, uh, but the ruins of Solco Town are as well. Solocone. Where's Solocone? Why does Solocone sound so familiar? Am I crazy? Am I high? Solocone. Actually, aha. Uh -huh. Intriguing. One, two, flip. One, two, flip, and turn. Okay then. Contest people, we hear. Uh, Heart Dome City, Warm Kind. Oh, I forgot it does that. Uh, if I go this way, does he stop me? Damn it, he does. Oh, oh, this guy has a Pokemon egg. Yeah, yeah, take it. I want that Pokemon. Oh, come on. I have the fucking box thing. Uh, I want to do this because I believe I have the ability to swap Pokemon on command, right? Yeah, artifacts. Um, well. I'm sorry, Babero. But, like, what I'm adding, if, if this is the same egg from the previous game, then I'm going to want this. Um, this is what I heard about eggs if you want them to hatch, but remember, Elson or Johto, here's the thing, if I'm right, I think I know what that egg is, and I don't regret my decision by getting that. Well, I'll just be the name raider, and I just got rid of the thing I was aptly gonna name Buddoof, or Buff Doof. I didn't mean to do that, visiting here, yes, I would, the very local, I was impressed by their generosity statement, may have, yeah, show me the courtesy hole, cool. Okay, so 
This was interesting. I got an egg now. Again, I say, if it's what I, oh, that looks cool, actually. I wonder what's in there. But, um, if this is the Pokemon I think it is, then we just got a new team member. Oh, this is the contest hall. Please go do go inside. Makes me feel happy knowing I helped a person. Okay, I'll handle that. Oh, are you the girl that gave us the stickers from before? Okay, well, you just talked about stickers. Name Raider, Poffin House. Okay, we'll go in there in a minute because I'm actually gonna need that. Uh, Pokemon Fan Club, all trainers allowed. Am I allowed to murder things here? Please say yes. Uh, old man from the first game. Hello, how do you say I'm Pokemon Fan Club Chairman? Yes, why would you put my if you might so? I might feed them puffins, I would admit, by giving your puffins, for example, if you give a sweet puffin, spicy puffin, in such ways, puffins, blah, blah, blah. I declare puffin a gift for you. Puffin case. Okay, I'm glad I came here, because apparently I needed to do that. Because puffins are a big, or maybe not a big part, but like a semi important part in my mind into like the Pokemon uh, contest hall thing. And we'll go on with. Oh, wait, Wukong's happy? Oh, huh. Nice job, Wukong. Uh, anyways, I guess like. Puffins aren't an important thing to it, and that's why I said we're gonna go into the Puffin house. I probably could buy items. I probably need to buy items because I really do need some better Pokeballs, but whatever. Oh, this is the girl from before. You're also good, can use my advice on tasty Puffin crudes in the beginning while it's still one sorry to spill, big circles. Oh, we can make Puffins. Well, this is something I've never done before. Let's do this. Um. Or Mary. Uh, actually. Wait, yeah, okay, let's do a random one. Peach. This. Um, go. <laughs> I have no idea how to make puffins. I've never done this before. Okay. Is this like the sword and shield thing? I'm gonna take my... Is this... How do I do this? Wait. Okay. Okay, so this is how I do it. This is how I do it. Okay. Is this like the sword and shield thing? Do I have to actually use the Joy-Con, or can I just not use the Joy-Con? Can I use this Joy-Con? Okay, I can use this Joy-Con. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is so much harder to do with, like... I, ah, this is so uncomfortable. Okay, there we go. This one's easier. This one's easier. Okay, so I know how to make puffins, apparently. This is not that bad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, this is, like, so uncomfortable, too. This is actually uncomfortable. I, I don't want to do this. Why? Why is this a function? Why? It, it, can I do this? Like, do I have to use the buttons? Can I just, like, use the stylus and, like, turn them left and right, respectively? Because if that's the case, then I won't be doing this again. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, no, 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 okay. I can't even turn the stylus, god damn it. No, 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 no. Oh my god, this is so difficult, this is so difficult, so difficult. Okay. Ah, oh my god. Ah, this is so uncomfortable on my hands. This is actually uncomfortable on my hands, okay. Why is that a function? Why do you have to, um, use the spicy dry puffin? No, I would not like to keep cooking puffins. Please visit, well, that was... Okay. What was that for? What do I do with this? Do I just like toss it at someone? What, what was the point of that? I, I don't understand. Puffin case, yes. Can I go into my puffin, please? Uh, spicy. Oh, level four. What the fuck do you mean by level four? Um. What do the spicy dry puffins do again? I'm gonna just give it to Wukong. What, what does that do? Ate the puffin. Okay, it's coolness weight up and it's beauty enhanced. Okay, cool. Um, I understood nothing of what just happened. Um, to the Pokemon Center I go! I question what I just witnessed. Why is that a function? Like, okay, you know, a new rant time! Why did they not make that the same way as the way they do it in Pokemon? Sword and Shield, you know how Pokemon Sword and Shield has like the um... Because Pokemon Sword and Shield, if you don't remember, predates this game. Why didn't it, they just use the Pokemon Sword and Shield mechanic? Because Pokemon Sword and Shield, you can just use... You don't have to use the um, styluses, you can just use the controller itself and then just like swirl it around with your hand. That's much easier in my opinion than like swirling buttons. Because that's so like instant reaction. I, I'm so sorry, please excuse me, Are you entering the Super to so? Oh, enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Fantina, the Heart Drum Gym Leader, also happens to be a Super Contestant Show expert. And you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Fantina. You may challenge me, but not yet. You must become much stronger. Then you may challenge me. Okay, then. I thought this was done differently in the previous game, because I swear in the previous, like, your mom shows up, right? And then, like, she ends up being a contest star of some crap, and speak of the devil. Oh, my hero! Oh, hi, Azul, and I was right. Wait, no, really? Johanna's your mom? So you might be a super cool contest show star? Oh, I don't know about that. 
I've never spoken to Ezra about super contest shows. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for early. Please take this sticker. And we got one Ethereal sticker. It, it, it turned out. I fucking know how to say that word. I don't know no, why. Ethereal sticker. No, that's a different word. Play, place that sticker on one of your po Pokeball caps before a show. It'll lend you a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'll, I'm a show judge, so, can, so join us for all kinds of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we will also offer practice sessions. Okay, Joanna, I'll see you. Were you surprised to see me, Ezel? I got bored, so I came out to Hartnum for a little vacation. I'm just as surprised as you to see you here, my dear. But you are serious about entering super contest shows? Not just that way. That's your Pokemon's time to shine, so you shouldn't be just so your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. And I got a tuxedo. Ooh, actually, tux aren't really my style. I'm sure you look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go and enjoy the Super Contest shows, honey. Shows will give you a different look at many Champ Charms Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now! Okay, then. Um, I'ma just shove whatever sticker I was told onto Monferno's, because... Question mark? Um... <laughs> That, no, this one goes here, and then what's the ephemeral sticker? Uh, this one? Okay, that's song sticker, sinister sticker, ephemeral stickers, okay. Um, not there. Here, um, let's grab this. Okay, apparently those just, where, where did this come from? Why am I out of fire stickers? Oh, I do have a fire sticker left. Okay, so that's what I got rid of the first time. I, again, I say, I don't know what I'm doing, but like, whatever. Okay, this goes here, and then let's get the last ephemeral sticker, and put it dead center. How this will look on my front, I have no idea, but whatever. Okay, onwards! Move out the way, dude! Let me give you a fabulous gift, and we received a mild puffin. Cool. Feed the puffin to your Pokemon, uh, word of advice. If, if you can't tell, I'm saving my, like, rant for when we do, for when we actually start the contest. Super Contest Show, would you like to enter? Yes, I would like to enter. I know how this works, more or less. Uh, I want to enter in coolness, because that's what my friend will at, right? Which rank would you like to enter? Well, I'm not entering Master Rank, thank you very much. Pokemon enter as well if its moves. Okay, so we'll do Wukong, who probably has the best coolness. And... Hype Points. Hype Points will be gained if the group is positive. Will increase by three. Ooh, then why is this one more? Okay, you know, we'll go for Flame. Real. Please use a ball caps to use with the contest show. Well, might as well use my infernos. Be sure to select the style before you start. Okay then. Anyways, um, good luck. I'm assuming we're transforming into our tuxedo. Huh. That looks really weird, but okay. Um. <laughs> oh my god, that's cool. <laughs> we have the dragon master over there. Okay, you know what? Now I'm starting to like my thing. Go, Wukong! Bird trainer. Okay, yeah, you know, I'm actually starting to like that outfit. It looks really cool. Actually, it makes me look like a fencer. God damn it, where's my sword when I need it? Uh, Flappy and Connor. Okay, you know what? I'll give them this. This looks a lot cooler than in the original, obviously. Oh, I missed my ball thing, too. Fuck. I hate that so much. Anyways, um... Yeah, cool, so we have this... Wait, what? Wait, what? what's happening? Go! Flame wheel! Wait, what What happened? I don't know how... I'm, okay, I'm guessing, like, we just hit each other. Hit each other, hit each other. Uh, moves. I, what, what do I do? What do I hit? What do I hit? What do I hit? What am I supposed to hit? What, what am I supposed to hit? Do I just keep hitting A? A. 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 Am I just supposed to wait until like, the line? A. 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 Okay. I don't know what to do. I'm assuming A. Oh, come on. Screw you. There's no way. Okay. So I know, I know not to miss that again. Um. A. 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 Hey, well I guess now I gotta like talk about the thing, so yeah, why didn't this game just have like the same mechanic for um, you know, doing the puffins as they had for cooking in the um, other, like in Sword and Shield, because that would have made more sense to me. Okay, brill- what do you mean too fast? That was brilliant, screw you. Okay, well, I guess we're all out of moves then, which is weird, so what, do we just like lose access to our moves at some point? That doesn't make sense to me, like why that's the case, or like, cause yeah, cause before in contests, I think you would get to use shoes- Show off a move, but whatever. So, what happened there? Super contest show, you get some hall points. Okay. Time to announce the stars of the show. Was it Wukong? Ah, uh, Wukong got nothing. Um, Celestial and Chirpy, okay. Did they win? Oh, they won. Cool. Too fast, too slow, twice, yeah. That... What? <laughs> Was that supposed to be entertaining? Wait. 
That... I don't know, that felt real... Anyone else feel like that was kind of like a disappointment? I don't know, I felt like that was supposed to be like a little bit more exciting. Here, let me do, do normal work again. Who has the most coolness here? It's you, isn't it? Yeah, it's you again, okay. Let, let, okay, what's the coolest move I have? Well, okay, in that case, I'm gonna do Rock Smash, because it has increased by three. I'm still keeping this ball, because I want to see it again. Um, I'm gonna change back to my thing. I'm just curious, like, contest style. Okay, I'm curious now. Okay, so now we have an old woman. Swap, so that's gonna be the team that wins. They made the final girl. Okay, as a Wukong, how's it look? Okay, that looked cool in my opinion. That looked cool, that looked cool in my opinion. Okay. Sorry if this is weird. Like, sorry if the content commentary is stale than, like, what it has been. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. Because I thought this was supposed to be, like, something entertaining and long, not, like, super short, etc. Um. Rock Smash. Oh, I didn't mean- Oh, okay, I see. Okay, that's, like, a timing thing. Okay, got it. I understand now. Okay, well, I have no idea where my camera glitched at. Oh, well, what happened? Did I win? Fuck, now I don't know. Did I win? Great, I missed because I didn't know if I won or not. What the fuck was the point of that? That... <laughs> I don't know anymore, really. Like... What was that? I remember the old version being a lot more exciting than that. <laughs> Is that weird? The old version was more exciting in my opinion? Am I crazy? Can someone, like, prove me wrong? I don't know, like... That felt like a little lackluster, if you ask me. Um, cool. Is there anything else I can do excitingly here? No, or is that it? Uh, reception desk, that's, so that's linked for super contest shows. So, like, I mean, that looks cool, but that wasn't what happened. Is this practice? No, I'd rather not. So, I guess that was it? That was... Entertaining, I guess. So, run around here for the next five minutes, I guess? Yeah, sure, screw it. I guess we're going to Amity Square. Um, I can go to Amity Square, right? You're not gonna stop me. Amity Square, you may stroll with a Pokemon. Oh, wait, stroll with a Pokemon? <gasps> you may go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon. <gasps> oh my god! Oh. My. God. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, I did not know this was a function. Let's. Fucking. Go. Oh my god, that's so cool. Wait, so then what's their excuse for not making this a main part of the game? Don't get me wrong, I'm happy we got this, but what's their excuse now that we have this? Because they can't say that they couldn't put it in the game fully. I do, I refuse to believe that. Oh, we found the amulet coin. Cool. Well, that gives me reason to keep using my, uh, my friend. Up. Well, just look at him move on. Okay. Okay, so he's a physical object, so he can get stuck is a thing. Okay, guys, guys, move out the way, move out the way, move out the way. Over here, over here, over here. Okay. Uh, as I go around and grab my Pokeball... Okay, spooky plate, don't block me in. Oh god, wait, I can push him back, I can push him back, right? Uh, when the universe created, put the spooky plate on other items. Uh-oh. 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 I can't move. Oh no, oh god, this isn't good. I'm stuck. Guys, uh-oh. Well, what a predicament I'm in today. Um. Fuck. Um. Wait, can I move these guys out of my party? Um, bag? Oh, fuck. Actually? Well, uh, I'm gonna do it here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna figure out how the fuck to get out of this, and I'll see you all next one. Don't forget to check us out. <laughs>